it's become a precious holiday tradition, donning the ugliest, tackiest, most colorful sweater you can find. The ugly Christmas sweater was given a new twist this afternoon as dozens of skate enthusiasts, young and old in Toronto, turned out for an ugly sweater skate party. A moving spectacle of tinsel, bells and lights. I just love that part of the holidays that we can kind of embrace the fact that it can be super tacky and cheesy and, uh, and just go with it. I think it came from relatives buying you terrible sweaters and then making a thing out of them. I can remember when I was young, like seeing my uncles and stuff and some pretty bad stuff. The party was put on by Impact Skate Club, a nonprofit focused on developing youth through skateboarding. This year, they're taking donations of new socks for those experiencing homelessness in Toronto. For their part, the kids were having a great time making and wearing the ugliest sweater, vest, or t shirt to skate in. I like it because it's really ugly and <laughs> there's bells. I had also put like a bunch of tinsel and like little like ornaments. So, what exactly makes the perfect ugly sweater? A whole bunch of sparkles and like pom poms and stuff. Lots of clashing colors, um, things that don't belong. Absurdity is kind of the key. Stockings and bells. We're often so conscious of what we're wearing and how we're presenting. It's kind of liberating to go the opposite way and try to be totally unappealing. Impact Skate Club has so far raised over 400 pairs of socks. They will be donating that to Kennedy House Youth Shelter this week. Trying to slay it in Toronto, Eric and the Tibby Dad, City News. Hold on to me tight, Yash. Yep. <laughs>